hello welcome to this channel my name is my name is daniel Yumindi and i want to say thank you for switching to this channel just in my last video i talked about what christians reaction should be in a country where there is religious diversity religious criticism tribalism and our leaders doing nothing about it that was just last video today is 6th of of june 2022 another thing has happened something terrible happened just yesterday 5th of june 2022 yesterday was sunday i came back from my church only to return to this news and what happened some people in some church went to church to worship god thank god for a previous week that was successful and to commit the new week onto God's end and you know what happened there they were visited by some gunmen unknown gunmen and 50 plus were killed in church in church you need to see life wasted on the ground men and women young and old babies killed there was a there was something i said in my previous video that uh christians should not pray i mean it is the wrong prayer that persecution should stop rather we should pray for god's protection over our families our relatives where they are was it not just my last video and now this has happened again 50 people were killed mothers taken away from their children fathers from their wives and children children from their parents we can't really be sure about the numbers that is what was recorded that is what the news has 50 i'm very sure they are more than 50. it was so serious that the the, the hospital they were some were rushed to how to make demands people should come and volunteer for blood donation that was for those that were alive already more than 50 are, are, are recognized are, are proven dead in a nation that has leaders the most provoking and painful part is this eventually yesterday it was said that those people who did this atrocity have been apprehended but when i saw the video people who went to the church and killed 50 plus when they show them they cover their face our government cover their faces government cover the faces of those people who killed innocent men women children babies for what what identity are they covering what what identity are they protecting? Well, that that is not the matter of the day because if we are going to dwell on this, oh my God, we are going to. I'm I've not made this this for for criticism for whatever. I am here today 
to call our attention again as Christians to let us know that this is no time for needless talks. This is no time for fights, arguments. This is no time for... I don't even know the word now. I know we are grieving inside. That's the more reason why I don't even show my face. I, I can't stand looking at the camera and saying all of this. Oh my God, 50 souls. 50. According to the news, 50. For crying out loud, this happened 30 minutes away from where I am. So this message today is just to let us as Christians wake up. If my last video, if you do not get it right, I am here again saying the same thing I said in the last video. It is about time we wake up. This is no time to fight. This is no time to riot. This is no time to, to do whatsoever. Because we know the state of the government we have at hand. So what is the point of rioting? Rioting that we, that we yield no results. Protest that we eventually take more lives. We don't need any of those. Right now, Christians need to wake up from their slumbers and come together as one and pray. And pray. And pray. This is no time to report to government or whatever. Where are the government? Who are the governments? This is Nigeria. We know the kind of leaders we have. But be rest assured, we have one leader that is greater than every other leader in this world. We have God. We have God who we can report to. We need to pray. There was a quote I read yesterday concerning this issue. Someone posted on Twitter, I said, Imagine saying, God, I thank you that I did not go to church today. How painful that sounds. How, how ridiculous that sounds. Thank God I didn't go to church today. The Bible says, in the, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. What do we see about yesterday? But this is not to bring us down, but to encourage us more. That God, you have said, I will build my church and the gate of hell. When we talk about hell, death is hell. We not prevail over it. Let's remind God of his promises. God, you have said this, that the gate of hell will not prevail over your church. Look upon your church this day. Look at the suffering of your people. You need to see people crying at the, at the, at the event of that bad happening. You need to see people wailing, crying, weeping for the souls that are lost. At this point, we are not going to sit down and just watch. Neither are we going to go out there and fight. But right there in our closet, right there in our churches, we are going to pray and ask for liberation and ask for deliverance and ask for God's intervention. Like I said in the previous video and earlier, Persecution will never stop. Killing of Christians will never stop. If you are praying for it to stop, my brothers, my sisters, you are praying wrong. The best prayer right now is, God, keep me safe. Protect me. Under your shadow. Only like that can we be guaranteed safety. Aside that, I, I don't have more to say. I'm begging us again for the last time. Let's wake up and pray for the churches all around Nigeria. 
we are the church. The Bible says, I have kept this ones you give to me. That is Jesus talking. I pray, though the word ate them, I pray, not that you take them out of this world, but you keep them from the world. That should be our prayer. Let's remind God of his promise to keep us under his shadow. And the Lord bless everyone that is watching. For as many as their relatives have been killed due to the event, the incident. I want to say may God console every one of you. Thank you for listening.